coming up today at noon. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining WENY News at Noon. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Rossi Matei has stepped away from the anger desk this afternoon and traded it with Watkins Glen International, which is the place to be for race weekend. He's been taking in the scene there for a few hours now. He and meteorologist Ryan Bells join us live with a look ahead at what's, what race fans can expect next. Hey, guys. Hey, good afternoon, Leanne. I'm joined by Ryan Bells, as always. And uh, Ryan, it doesn't get much better than this. Sun is shining, and uh, it, just an absolutely perfect day here at Watkins Glen yeah, International. We, we couldn't ask for any better conditions, and the cars are out on the track, so it's a great start to the weekend already. That's right, the excitement's already underway. We have Sprint Cup drivers driving right behind us in right the now. first practice session. Yeah. And uh, we already saw a couple drivers go by. You picked up a cool gadget yourself. You want to tell the folks a little bit about that? Yeah, definitely. I picked up one of the fan visions that you can get here at the racetrack. Tells you who's leading and gives you a live camera view. And we actually got Dale Jr. He's currently third right now with Kyle Busch leading practice so far. So very cool. Yeah, you can see right from the driver's point of view, which is right. awesome. And there's other fan events going on all weekend, including a bunch of autographs that we want to tell people about yeah. coming up today. Uh, first of all, we have Greg Biffle, who will be at the Tops Market in Watkins Glen starting at 6 o'clock. Fans, the first 200 fans will get tickets to get an autograph from Greg Biffle. Very and a half cool. an hour before that, Ty Dillon, he'll be doing the same thing at that same Tops Market in Watkins Glen. And if you have wristbands and you're lucky enough to have a wristband for the bog, there will be tons of drivers signing autographs there as well. So. Uh, it, it's a great weekend for fans. We've already seen a total turnaround here. Tons of fans already okay. packing the grandstands behind us. Yep. And uh, Ryan, I know most of the fans, they want to know about the weather. So why don't you give them a look at the weekend? And you couldn't ask for any better weather throughout the weekend. Starting today, mostly sunny skies. Great weekend. Currently right now, we're looking at temperatures right around the low 70s, right around 73 degrees at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport with a few pumpy fair weather clouds. Temperatures elsewhere across the region. We're seeing temperatures in the low 70s right now throughout the region. We're going to warm up throughout the day to the upper 70s, low 80s, 5 degree guarantee today in Elmira, 80 degrees. And our hourly forecast here at the track, 2 o'clock for the Xfinity practice. We're looking at mostly sunny skies in 77. And then by 4 o'clock, still mostly sunny skies. And we're going to hit that 5 degree guarantee right around 80. And then by 6 o'clock, when the race starts, the Bully Hill Vineyards 125, we're going to see temperatures right around 75 degrees and still mainly clear skies. A great day. And I'm going to have my full Cheez-It 355 forecast coming up in Maine weather. So. Can't wait for that. We want to remind everyone to stay tuned to WNY News throughout the day and as well as tomorrow night for our special live show. William Toyota of Elmira presents the uh, Thunder at the Glen, starring Jenna Cottrell and Dan Fates from WNY Sports. They'll have all your coverage getting you geared up for the Cheez-It 355 on Sunday. For now, let's send it back to Leanne in the studio. Thanks, guys. Looks like they have prime seating there. 